What's up? It's your boy Geppetto back in the building. I want to talk about Dwight Howard. Man, this story with Dwight Howard gets crazier and crazier and crazier. So pretty much, um, there's always been like these rumors about, you know, Dwight Howard and like his sexuality. But to me, I feel like anytime a dude is a little different, a little artsy, a more ex- eccentric, wants to do dress differently, act differently, people are always are trying to label the niggas gay. So I don't necessarily believe in labeling every different type of black dude gay. Some people are just into different things. But um, there have been some rumblings about, you know, Dwight um, liking men and trends and all that stuff and even like some reports that came out some years back i even think his first baby mom royce reed had maybe had said some stuff or whatnot and here's the thing i'm a very open-minded person i'm very much like yo whatever you're into that's on you if you're an adult as long as you're an adult having relations with number one another consenting, sober-minded adult, do what you got to do. I'm open-minded to whatever, you know? I don't judge people. If you're an adult who, if you're a man, you like women. If you're a man who like men. If you're a man who likes women and men. You're a man who likes trans or whatever, As long as you're not messing with no kids, as long as you're not messing with no animals, and as long as you're not taking advantage of people under the influence or whatever, I don't judge. I'm open-minded. I'm always like, yeah, do what you do. It is what it is. I don't don't judge people what they do in their bedrooms. Now, the problem with Dwight Howard is, and as somebody who works in the entertainment industry, I could honestly tell you this, right? Dwight Howard, I don't... Let me see how old Dwight Howard is. Hey, Siri. How old is Dwight Howard? Okay, 37. So Dwight Howard is 37 years old. And I don't know. I'm I'm assuming that Dwight Howard has to still be a multimillionaire. That's, that's what I think. He played in the NBA uh, for several years. And... I'm thinking he was, is, and still a multimillionaire. Um, I think since he's left the NBA, and the NBA has a good um, system of protecting their players. I work in the entertainment industry, and I know there's a lot of shit that happens behind the scenes. I've seen a little bit of everything, and... If you're a part of somebody's camp, you're always kind of like covering stuff up. You're covering stuff up. You're making sure things don't get leaked. You know, you're snatching phones. You know, you, you're. I've seen some crazy shit behind the scenes, and I'm a I'm a person who I'm a confidant. So whatever I see, if you my people, I'm gonna help you cover it up and keep it in house. So I don't know if it's because Dwight left the NBA and he probably doesn't have that same like um, squad or, or system of people around that covers him up. But I could tell you this, a man does not, a straight man does not go from liking women to randomly texting dudes and telling them, let me see that meat. That's crazy. You don't go from liking women to then saying, yeah, let me go holler at this dude in a wig. It's like Dwight probably has always been like this. He's probably always been into, I guess, men, men in wigs, trans. And again, I'm open-minded, whatever you're into. But I feel like Dwight Howard... Number one, you're too big of a public figure. Number two, you're too rich. And number three, you're too 
like freaky to be this sloppy. And what I mean by all of that is Dwight, I'm pretty sure, like I know for a fact, Dwight Howard is not the only dude in Hollywood that's into this kind of stuff or just in general. It's just that Dwight Howard is a big public figure. So I'm assuming that maybe when he was in the NBA, they probably had a better system of like hiding the trans or hiding the men he was messing with and like keeping everything covered and, you know, paying people off or whatnot. So like some of these rumors could die down. Uh, I'm going to read to you what um, Radar Online was saying. Okay. Okay. So this one dude came forward and pretty much said he met Dwight Howard on Instagram and they was flirting, going back and forth. And Dwight Howard invited him over. And then um, when the dude came over, Dwight Howard pretty much surprised them with another dude dressed in a wig named Miss Kitty and pretty much forced the threesome on the dude. And then like pretty much like forcibly gave the dude oral sex, which is crazy. And, like, Dwight Howard is a big nigga. Dwight Howard, even though, y'all, you know, y'all might think Dwight Howard is soft or whatever, that's a big-ass dude. So if Dwight Howard pin you down, Dwight Howard is, like, 6'10", like, 270 pounds, I think they, I, that's a fight. A, a nigga like Dwight Howard, you probably got to grab a weapon because I'm pretty sure Dwight Howard would intimidate the crap out of you. But anyway, let me read Radar Online. In his lawsuit, Harper, Harper is a dude that's um, filed the claims against uh, Dwight. Harper claimed to have been reached out to Howard on Instagram. He said he sent his cell phone number, which led to Howard texting him. Harper said the conversation turned sexual with Howard asking for explicit photos. The man said uh, said they spoke for months before finally meeting in July 2021. In the lawsuit, Harper claimed he showed up to Howard's home where they began to kiss. However, he said Howard then brought a man dressed as a woman named Kitty, which is crazy. Kitty. Harper claimed Howard demanded they have a threesome. The accuser said Howard forcibly performed oral sex on him and then forced him to perform the same act on the NBA star. That's crazy. Again, Dwight Howard is a big cock diesel dude. So (laughs) I'm pretty sure like this dude probably did get intimidated. But they have some of the text messages here. Um, Dwight sends a demon emoji. The dude said, sup sexy. Dwight says, none you. The dude says, shit, just started my day off about to go shower. Uh, Dwight puts the eye emojis like the dude said I got you with the tongue out what you have planned for today Dwight said you and ATL we play today the dude said yeah I stay in Atlanta been doing some modeling here in Chicago what about you and the word that's what's up good luck sexy Dwight says Atlanta and Philly um Wait, hold on. In the lawsuits, um, Harper sought unspecified damages for the alleged assault and battery. In response, Howard did not deny he met Harper and they exchanged several messages. He said Harper did come over to his Georgia mansion for a hookup, but said Harper was well aware that Kitty was going to be present. I'm still... bewildered at a man in a wig called Kitty. That's crazy to me. Howard said he never assaulted Harper and that the three of them engaged in consensual sexual activity. He asked the court to throw out Harper's um, lawyer. So again, I feel an issue with Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard is 2023, bro. And a home a homie had said to me a while um, years ago. He was like, with all the trans and all these, you know, different types of cats on the street, whether it be trans or the dudes that dress up like girls. He's like, 
there's obviously dudes that are smashing them. He was like, they just not out here with all willy nilly. It's it's dudes, and it's and again, there's nothing wrong. If you are attracted to that, that's your thing. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're, even though like, yeah, especially in the black community, we got a ways to go. But I mean, bro, Dwight Howard, you are rich, successful. If you want to dabble and dabble into men and trans or whatever, bro, do your thing. I think the issue is you being so damn sloppy, bro. Dwight Howard, let me tell you something. If I was one of your homies and you had me on payroll and my um my whole MO was to protect your image and keep stuff, hey man, whether it had been a, a chick or a trans, I would have been like, bro, get a burner phone, don't send them pictures, don't do this, and look. From the time they hit your house, they signing the NDA. We taking their phone. We did, like it's certain ways in Hollywood you 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 navigate because, like I said, Dwight was just so damn sloppy. He DMing people from his actual Instagram account, leaving like he was Dwight Howard is thirty seven. You would have swore Dwight Howard was like seventeen years old. How he was just being so reckless. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they were sending dick pics to each other, which is crazy. Again, Dwight Howard, and then I think Dwight Howard has always like maintained that he was like a straight dude or whatever. And I think now Dwight came out and pretty much said like, hey, what I'm into is nobody business. What I'm into in the bedroom, y'all need to mind y'all business. And Dwight is 100% right. Dwight is 100% right. I still don't get the fascination with people so obsessed with who somebody is fucking. Oh, um, it's, it, he, he and the girls, he he and the guys, he into to to um um both like yo I have unless I want to sleep with you I have never been cared who, I've never cared who who's sleeping with who, and I think that's the problem with um Dwight Howard you just too sloppy my guy, and bro you too damn big to be like I'm sorry like Dwight Howard uh, to be six ten. I oh, don't know, man. You too do it. You too big to be doing some of this freaky deaky stuff. You into my guy? Like I don't know. I think Dwight, you should have went, found you. Or like I said, I don't know what you're into. I don't know if you're into like, because I had I had watched another YouTube video and they said like, Dwight is into like men, but like men, like I guess that dresses women. He's into that. I'm pretty sure is a plethora of dudes in wigs, Dwight, that could have been your little, like, side piece that could be silent, side, and then you get, you know, you have your little silent side dude or whatever. I mean, I don't want to misgender nobody because I don't know if they consider themselves women, but, yo, you, was, you, you just wasn't supposed to be so sloppy, bro. Like, that's my whole thing. I don't even care that Dwight Howard is or isn't gay or whatever. Um, Like I said, I haven't seen... Dwight Howard hasn't been in the NBA for a very long time, and I don't necessarily follow him. But, yeah, and then another thing, too, Dwight, again, you too damn rich. Why are you doing all this freaky orgy stuff in your main house? That's why I can tell Dwight, you ain't got no true players around you. You ain't got no players around you. You ain't got no, like people around you that truly are is giving you the right advice because Dwight and again I'm in the entertainment industry I know a lot of stuff behind the scenes Dwight you were supposed to have your main mansion and you probably should have had like a little I don't know a little spot maybe a mile or two away from your house that that's where you send your when you want to do your little freak sessions or you want to like you know dip off or, and get you a girl get you a guy get you a guy in a wig you were supposed to carry them to that spot you were supposed to carry them to your main house where your children are and where your mail comes like bro that's wild and like i said dwight um i'm sending you energy bro like man i, I like if if Dwight could give me six figures a year, 
You know what I mean? I help I'll help him manage, you know, how he moving out here because Dwight nobody it's 2023. Nobody cares if you like men or not, bro. Like I know I don't care, bro. I I just want you to move smarter. If you I think I think Dwight is just a big old freak. If you that big of a freak and you like to have a weekly freak session, bro, you were supposed to like have everybody involved, tested on NDAs and you get you have a spot down the road that nobody knows where you live. Stop inviting motherfuckers to your main house. Like, what is wrong with you, my guy? I don't know. If Dwight had to pay me six figures to, like, you know, help clean his shit up and run, like, like I, I'll do it because homie just needs somebody to, like, help him navigate because he's just too wild, man. Anyway, that was my thoughts on Dwight Howard, bro. Um, I hope he doesn't go to jail. I, I hope he wasn't also our... S-A-N, R-wording people, because that's what some people have said that you like to take from people. I don't want to say the word that rhymes with grape, but they say you like to grape um, people. I hope that's not true. And then Dwight, man, again, you too successful, you too rich to be moving that sloppy, my guy. But anyway, this is your boy Geppetto. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And my beautiful people, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>